Uh, my name is Jian Qingjiang, and I'm, I'm from Nanan Cloud, and uh, uh, I will repre represent Zhen Yuhe from Intel and uh, Liang Zhang from China Tower to have this sharing. And uh, the, the name is called uh, China Tower's Edge Computing Solution based on Intel servers, servers and uh, StarlingX. Uh, we uh, divided the uh, whole sharing to four parts. And the first part is uh, Nanan Cloud introduction. Uh, we we have founded since uh, 1912, and we have 200 staff in Shanghai, Beijing, etc. And uh, we are the gold member of OpenStack Foundation, and uh, we are the OpenStack COA partner. And before that, and we are also the uh, contributor. To we contribute code to uh, some open source um, like uh, Kubernetes, Ceph, and uh, uh, Open Daylight, and so on. Our advantage is we uh, is the top two OpenStack community uh, contributes, and uh, we also have. Uh, a member of Stalinx Technical com Committee of Edge Computing. And uh, the second part is Edge Computing Scenarios and the China Tower Demand. Because traffic trends in the intelligent area of IoT, the traffic trends uh, from MB to GB to TB level sensor flow and the ZB level network traffic. And uh, the traffic, 50% traffic is from IoT device and 79% uh, IoT traffic uh, gateway access. Um, besides, 40% uh, IoT traffic uh, should be processed in the edge. So, with soaring traffic, we uh, need edge computing strongly. And we, and I also uh, try to uh, uh, claim the uh, main driving force of uh, edge computing. Um, I put this uh, to four parts, and the first part is uh, bandwidth pressure, because. <laughs> TB level data cannot be uploaded to cloud for processing due to inefficient bandwidth or high cost. And uh, the second part is real time. The IoT environment requires uh, local com com uh, computing to Im improve analysis and uh, operation efficiency. The third part is high security. When the network is interrupted, IoT devices can be independent and uh, autonomous. They are the they can be desensitized to data. And the last one is small uh, smart management. Because mouse equipment and branches need to be unified and simple. So um, with remote management to reduce costs and uh, increase efficiency should be a uh, convenient. And uh, the edge computing model, uh, we think the structure should be like uh, uh, device access, nearest calculation, and the services. Uh, device access is uh, provide the equipment access tool to convent equipment of virus protocols and the data formats provided by uh, virus ma manufacturers into standard unif unif uh, unified equipment models. And the device devices is, can be from um, factory, uh, traffic, building, home, like this. And the, the nearest ca calculation um, under certain resources equipment 
are calculated near the edge, and uh, the calculation will not be terminated when um, the, the network is uh, interrupted. And we think uh, edge node contains um, device connection, function calculation, and uh, stream com computing and uh, local cache. And uh, the edge node can connect uh, IoT devices to um, edge, compu edge computing nodes quickly and safely. And the data can be processed quickly and in real time on the edge, thereby great, greatly reducing latency. And the service is open up or sync the service cap capabilities uh, of the cloud. Next one, which is the introduction to uh, China Tower. Because uh, we have a project uh, with Intel and uh, China Tower. We uh, put uh, the Starling X uh, platform in China Tower's environment and uh, with Intel servers. So um, China Tower uh, is a very large scale communications infrastructure and uh, China Tower is uh, jointly funded by China Mobile, China Unicom, China Telecom, um, like uh, etc. And uh, and uh, China Tower is uh, can have more than 1.9 million states station states. So uh, this large scale infrastructure is very suitable for um, edge computing. And uh, China Tower have a uh, machine room resource advantage because uh, the China Tower uh, site covers all over the country, covering um, a, a varied variety of grounds things with flexible equipment, mounting heights, and uh, ample installation space, with, which is especially suitable for um, customs with large-scale network construction needs. And uh, China Tower, they, they are current 1 million, have, have um, near 1 million commu uh, com compute rooms, where there are, where there are uh, communication towers and uh, the com computer rooms are gently equipped near the tower, and uh, each tower, the distance between sta station sites is in the urban is two hundred to five hundred uh, meter, and uh, in rural area is one to one to two uh, kilo, kilograms, uh, kilometers, and uh, travels various things such as cities, countries, uh, towns, rural areas, parks, etc. <coughs> and uh, the power resources advantage of China Tower is uh, each state have a, have a com complete AC and DC power supply capability, uh, including mains, uh, battery parks, uh, diesel generators, new area and other security methods to ensure continuous, safe, and stable power supply for equipment and uh, worry-free. And the advantage of uh, China Tower's communication resource is each state have a complete. And uh, the advantage of uh, China Tower's communication resource is China Tower co located with the oper operator's uh, communications based station. 
within unique wide and wireless uh, communication condition and uh, we can rely on China Tower can uh, and the China Tower can provide a reliable um, data return channel. And uh, China Towers also have flexible service advantage and uh, uh, China Tower can provide a resource service, integration service and data service, uh, information service. So uh, with China Tower, all these advantages, we cooperate with China Tower and the China Towers, uh, these advantages um, is very suitable for uh, edge, edge computing scenario. And, uh, and uh, the description of Nanan Cloud and the Intel cap uh, capability is China Tower has um, very much uh, number of uh, towers and, uh, and uh, uh, machine rooms and uh, China Tower plans to open the uh, commute uh, open the machine room resource to uh, OTT vendors. And uh, currently, we have done technical tests with leading um, vendors, uh, OTT manufacturers. And uh, Nanan Cloud uh, Starnex Edge Computing Technology bas basically meets the needs of the tower in involving um, cen uh, center edge architecture, security uh, strategy, cloud platform, unified orchestration, Remote, remote ma management, monitoring, etc. And uh, the second, uh, second is the tower use Intel servers and they use cloud computing, uh, cloud uh, computing tech technology to isolate a different I uh, OTT vendors. And uh, the pilot is mainly based on the machine rooms of the. Uh, provincial um, company of the of the hardware environment. So through the environment of edge com computing suits in each pro uh, pro province, the whole country use a central node for management. The third part is introduction to uh, studying tech uh, technical capabilities. StarNex is a new top-level OpenStack Foundation pilot project to provide high-performance, low-latency, and uh, high-availability software states for edge cloud applications. StarNex provides mature uh, distributed infrastructure cloud technology for edge com computing scenarios. And uh, StarNex is very suited for uh, transportation, energy, manufacture, uh, etc. Uh, scenarios. And uh, <clears throat> with StarNex Central Edge architecture, uh, StarNex can uh, directly uh, this can provide geography. Uh, distributed uh, uh, multi-region de deployment and the central cloud uh, provides unified orchestration and uh, uh, synonymous uh, configuration capabilities and uh, StarNex provide uh, geographically uh, distributed edge cloud on-demand scale configuration capabilities. And uh, this is the uh, StarNex architecture. And uh, StarNex with the uh, low latency Linux and uh, uh, contains uh, OpenStack uh, to provide uh, uh, VM and uh, uh, contains uh, contains Kubernetes to provide uh, to provide uh, mm, to use Docker. Uh, technical to provide the contains and uh, 
and uh, Stanix have uh, uh, host management, port, uh, uh, port management, software management, uh, configuration management, and the service management. And uh, the configuration management is uh, Stanix manage uh, installation automatically discover uh, edge nodes. And uh, Stanix uh, uh, node configuration can uh, remote uh, put uh, to to uh, modify the uh, remote edge nodes. And uh, Stanix can discover discovery remote resources. And uh, the software management is Stanix can automatically deploy deploy software updates to uh, increasing security and uh, new features. And the Stanix integ integrated end-to-end -end, uh, rolling update solution. And uh, Stanix also can support hot patch and uh, reboot required patch at the same time. And uh, Stanix can Man manage all software updates. <clears throat> and uh, Stanix can uh, have fault management and Stanix can um, collect uh, the fault the fault message from edge, edge node and uh, and uh, can can show in the central cloud so uh, the admin administrator don't need to uh, access the each edge cloud. We just the administrator uh, just can just uh, just can check the uh, horizon in the central cloud. So it's very uh, convenient. The last part is the project. Uh, Technical stretcher introduction. Um, these two pictures is the actual uh, actual environment of the Shanghai Tower de deployment, and uh, we put starting X in the uh, China Tower, China Tower's machine room, and uh, we put uh, the the edge cloud exact uh, exactly the edge uh, the edge cloud in the uh, tower machine room and uh, so the device can can access the resource uh, with a uh, near distance so it can reduce uh, latency <coughs> and this picture is the physical architecture uh, of Shanghai Tower uh, deployment we have put uh, uh, three edge nodes in the whole uh, environment, and uh, there is the application on the uh, edge node, and uh, we have edge uh, we have open stack in each edge node. In the central node, we have a CMP plot platform to manage the whole uh, central cloud and edge cloud. And uh, this server is uh, deploy 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 the uh, management node. This management node can collect uh, the uh, information from the uh, edge node. Um, thanks for uh, your time. Any questions? <coughs>